Insect Glaive. Five minutes. Let's go. The creators of the Insect Glaive must have been fans of Dragon Ball because this weapon is like a fusion between the Power Pole and the Flying Nimbus. This guide will be based on having the red extract activated at all times. It would be a waste of time teaching you combos without extracts as they are so pitiful and weak compared to their buffed counterparts. Before we get started, if you're a beginner to the Insect Glaive, I suggest going to the blacksmith and purchasing a Kinsect with the dual color Kinsect bonus. This will make getting your extracts much simpler when starting out. First up, controlling your Kinsect. With your weapon drawn, you can aim with the right stick while holding ZR. Keeping ZR held, you can send out the Kinsect with X and return with A. You can also send out your Kinsect from a sheath position by pressing ZR, but it is less precise. If your aim isn't too hot, you can mark the monster's body with ZR, which will create a powder on that body part. The colour of the powder also represents the colour of the extract you will get from it. While the powder is active, your Kinsect will gravitate towards it no matter where you aim. You can also create a powder by aiming with ZL and pressing ZR to shoot the marking. Here are the extract effects put simply. Red extract buffs your attack and changes your attacks and combos. White extract speeds up your movement. Orange extract buffs your defense and helps prevent knockbacks. And having all extracts active at once grants level five earplugs. I encourage trying to get all extracts for combat, but at the bare minimum, at least always get the red extract or you'll really be missing out on the Insect Glaive's abilities. Okay, now for grounded combat. Your go-to combo for big openings on the ground is X, X, A on a loop. Watch the animations closely for the timing of inputs. For quick pokes, press X while holding forward and X again. Next, I wanna talk about the Leaping Slash and Tornado Slash. This is a great move for opening and closing combos. You can access it from a running draw attack by pressing X or pressing A while moving forward with your weapon drawn. Tornado Slash can be accessed after two A inputs or as a finisher to the strong rising slash combo. If you hold the directional button behind the hunter in a Tornado Slash situation, you will do a backflip attack. Now for aerial combat. There are two ways to get in the air, pressing ZR plus B and pressing ZL plus X. While in the air, you have a few options. You can press X to do multiple attacks straight down, press B in any direction for an air dodge, press A in any direction for a multi-hit slash attack. Notice how the final hit of an A attack in the air leads to this vaulting dance animation. During this animation, you can act again, continuing your aerial combo. You can use any of the aerial options I have demonstrated after this, which allows for a lot of flexibility and creativity. Next, an extremely important switch skill I consider to be mandatory for Insect Glaive is Diving Wyvern. You unlock it by completing the six star hub quest, Invoking the Insect Glaive. On its own, this move does decent damage, but its true strength lies in using it as a combo finisher of aerial attacks. The more aerial attacks you string together, the more damage it will do. The maximum amount of aerial attacks you can string together is three though, so keep that in mind when going for the move. If you're struggling with aerial movement, here's a nice little exercise to get you used to it. The floor is lava. Okay, let's put it all together in practice. Upon starting combat, always go for your extracts first, or you'll be shooting yourself in the foot. Even worse than messing up your inputs like me here. With the Insect Glaive, you can turn many defensive situations into attacking situations simply by jumping over the monster and working around its hitboxes. When you get good at it, you can pull off some awesome stuff like this. Oh so satisfying. See how freely I am able to dodge and maneuver myself in the air? No other weapon compares when it comes to maneuverability. Note how even when Rathian is downed in this situation, my priority is to get my red extract back before attacking. It really is that much of a buff. And for the love of God, if you're going to wake up a monster, do it in style. Anyway, that was Insect Glaive in 5 minutes. Next up is Light Bowgun. I've been King Rob Rule, and I'll see you in the next video. Gotta go fast.